We're really lucky that we found this place exactly when we were looking for a treat. It smells great. It smells really homey. It smells like baked goodness. I drive all the way from the East Bay just to get Auntie M's pastries. It takes time, but it's worth it. Auntie M's is a bakery that serves traditional Filipino pastries and no twist. I just followed what we practice in the Philippines. The main thing is that we're trying to bring a taste of the Philippines to people who miss it in the United States. It makes me happy, especially when I see their faces so happy eating it and they come back and tell me that uh, they need more. There's no taste like home. We started on Thames 14 years ago. What you see in Manila is what you can see and taste in our bake shop. We make traditional Filipino breads, different kinds of cakes. For people who can't easily just go back to the Philippines and reminisce about their childhood with the things that they've eaten, we try to bring a taste of their home closer to their own home here in the United States so that all those memories come rushing back to them the moment that they have a bite. Our main product is Ensaymada and Bibinka. Ensaymada is a brioche bread. They have a choice of three flavors. It's cheese, ube, and caramel. It's something that starts off the day before. We have to wake up early in the morning so that we just at the right time have the right amount of rice. Put it in the oven. And once it's cooled down enough, put the toppings on it. The three most common elements on a topping for an ensaymada, it's mostly butter, sugar, and cheese. We dress the top with the butter, dip it in the bowl of grated cheese and sugar. It melts in your mouth and it's so good with coffee or tea. It's one of the most recognized delicacies by most Filipinos. Not everybody can just like pop them out in their own home, which is why its particular specialness is something that most Filipinos share with each other as a gift or just something to treat yourself with. Also, we have what you call bibinka. It's a traditional rice cake cooked in banana leaves. It's a coconut rice cake on a banana leaf, broiled on top and bottom. It's almost like a souffle and a pancake got married, and that's what the texture is like. That broiling effect gives it a smoky flavor, so you have like both sweet and salty and smoky at the same time. We have sapin sapin, which are rice cakes, and we also have cassava, which is an arrowroot, same as the family of sweet potato. That's what we have here, very traditional Filipino desserts. No twist, the real thing. When we were trying to find a name for the store, what natural thing would we gravitate to but my mom's name, a TM, you know, where a lot of my cousins know her as, and even we start calling her a TM. So it's a family business through and through. All of this mainly I learned from my aunts, and now I'm an aunt myself. When I go to the mall, uh, and then I come across a customer and they say, Hi, Auntie M, I'm glad I saw you here. I, I love it. I feel good every time they recognize me. Oh, yeah, he's good. a regular customer. He's a, he's a regular customer, so we can Hi. let him in. Come yeah, in. You guys are close? No. I came here today to buy some pastries. I got some uh, cake. <laughs> and bibinka, which is famous for Filipino people. I love that it's just freshly made and it's good, it's so good. We have customers who come here since the day we started. It means a lot to me because food is the blueprint of every culture. It defines their people and their country. Now I'm lucky to be an auntie to the Bay Area, like spread all these wonderful pastries to you guys for you to try and taste.